Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And this is video has been requested a few times, so I thought we'd do it today. So this is gonna be a tour of my detailing van that I detail out of. So this is a 2021 Nissan MV200 that I detail out of. So right off the bat, this is wrapped with my logo, my company and my phone number, my website. So we'll start with the driver's side, because um, we can't get to the passenger side. So the first thing I have on my van, this is like one of those yoga towels, hot towels, so that way you don't get all your slime. Because when I detail, I, get, I don't want to hop in my van and get dirty, and that way the seat is going to be brand new. <laughs> so right here I have my Mighty HP60 um, hot water extractor. In the back I have a couple shelves. I usually keep my file folder here for all my stuff that I need for the client. So that's this. It's kind of disorganized. I'm cleaning up right now. That's why I thought I'd do a tour. Come to this side. Still on the driver's side. This is where I keep my vacuum. I have my hot water extractor hose. I actually have my smaller Mighty right here that I use. And I actually have that extraction hose sitting here because I'm still customizing it because I want to go to a, um, a steel head with an opening. So I got my uh, SPTA uh, cordless foamer, absolutely love it. I have my, gr uh, I think this is a Gorilla uh, uh, scaffolding ladder, but see how flat it folds. I have my polishing table, I have my Ultra air compressor. When I go to the back, I'll show you more. I keep my gloves up here. So this right here, so this right here is my chemicals that I keep. Underneath this, I have my extractor hose for my seam cleaner, my hose that I need for my pressure washer. In here, I have extras, uh, chemicals, I have some drills. Actually, I can just, I can just show y'all. So let me do this real quick. I love this pack out system too, because this stacks on top of here, which makes it super handy. Um, I got the little foam things to clean with. Got my drills down here. Just more miscellaneous attachments, like stuff for my steam cleaner and stuff like that. But this is more of a catch-all thing. So I got my little blower, stuff like that. So that's where I keep this stuff. Kind of messy because uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. But also, I also don't use the bottom of the drawer too often. So this right here is my spot air compressor. What I mean by spot is that that's not like a full-size air compressor. So it's not going to do a car with it. So don't try to do a car with that. Uh, so yeah, right here I have my Milwaukee cordless polisher running a Hercules battery. If you guys want any of this stuff, it'll be linked in the comments below because uh, you can find that adapter there. So normally I don't keep my batteries here. I actually keep them up here in a battery tray um, or, or in a tray, for. Uh, but I have those taken out. So I'm charging right here. My works hydro shot. Got my Milwaukee uh, with the stubby on it. I have two, 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 and a half, two, two and a half gallon tanks. Then there's actually, uh, these are 1.3 gallons. So you get another 2.6 gallons of water. So in total, what I have like 7.6 gallons of water on board. Again, I don't need that much. This thing, it's amazing. I have videos on that setup. Right here on my Milwaukee. Um, this is that new one. It uses the M18 batteries. And it gives you a little like um, generator. I love it, uh, especially when you don't. You're in a garage and you can't run the generator. That's awesome for that. Uh, just be careful. You can't run like a steam cleaner, but that ultra air compressor runs perfectly fine on it for almost about an hour, which is awesome. So right here, I have some chemicals. That's like my leather lock. Here is my ozone generator. Just some miscellaneous brushes. I have some extra uh, uh, clay bars right there. And then down here is a catch-all. Then I got some more chemicals down here that I keep. Over there in the corner is actually where my four main gallons that I keep are. Right there is some of my foaming spray bottles. Up here I have my air attachments for my air compressor that I use. Got my brushes right here. And that's mostly from this side. Again, chemicals that I use frequently right there. Then I have my little uh, drawers that I like to keep different little things in. 
like tapes and stuff. So that's there. So that's basically the back. Also got my like, clay towel up here. And then again, this is like different dog brushes and stuff coming along here. So depending on what I need, there's the metal wand that I have for, none of this stuff is set permanently because every day I seem to be changing what I'm doing for the design. But that is this. Also, this is an RV pull out. So this pulls all the way out to about like here, maybe like right here. Um, so that way I can get the generator out. So, because otherwise, can you imagine trying to like lift that out of that spot? It'd be insane. But that's the setup that I have right here. So now we go over to the passenger side. And that's how the box looks all set in there. As I go up, you could see I have those two hang up there, so everything's like that. So when I unload, these come out, then I grab those, and then I grab my tanks, and just work around like that. But that's my setup, and then the door closes, and there's enough space, and this just like maybe like half an inch. Um, that's why I have this like locked into place. I have that clip there, so that way this doesn't have any slack. Or yeah, there's no slack, so. Yep. So here's the final step on the passenger side. So I have my Chief 125 steam cleaner. Again, you can see the extractor sits there. Polishing pads, stuff like that. I have my paint up gauge right there. And then this is the place where I put my pads when they're done. So that way they can go get washed. So that's my setup generally. I actually keep my towels in these bags, but I don't want to show that because that's, that is occupied in this space. I'd love to do like a shelf system, like right here. So that way I could then put the towels nice and neatly across, but there's nowhere that I could figure it that I can mount it. Um, as you would tell, I have about every square inch of this van utilized, but I have a full size air compressor, a full size vacuum, a monster extractor, a mini extractor, a full size steam cleaner, all those chemicals. I have every tool you can imagine so when people say, oh, you don't have a water tank, I try not to use as much water as I can. I try to stick from a gallon to two and a half gallons per car, just depending on the size. So that way you control the water runoff because again, that is vital where I live. So that is my whole setup. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments down below, uh, comment down below. If you see any products you want more information on, let me know. And also all this stuff is linked I have like a little like, it's like GMC, a little something. It'll be like linked there because off my Instagram, I get these questions all the time. So all the products are there because it took me eight years to figure out all this stuff and all these products. So might as well share. Like that is my favorite extractor I ever bought. It is almost a $2,000 extractor though, but that is a wet injection, wet injection steam cleaner. So this right here, you can actually inject chemicals while you're injecting the water. So it's amazing how much steam that thing will produce. But it's just things like that, um, that I spent so much time <laughs> gathering information, stuff like that. Like that Mighty Extractor, like that's great and all, but when you use a full size one, like that's sitting in my driver's, a passenger seat right there, that, yeah, that's great to have when you're doing a tiny little spot on the car. But that big one over there, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a behemoth getting in and out of the van, but it's worth it every day. But again, that's like an $800 extractor. That's $1,800. So it's a give and a take. And I understand when you're detailing, not trying to buy the most expensive thing, like that eco meter thing, that was $700. But again, all this stuff last years, I've had this almost three years. I've had that for five years. That almost two years so it just depends you buy quality stuff it'll last sorry for the little rant there at the end but if you have a again any of that stuff comment down below thanks for watching have a great day thanks bye